So we want you to kind of lead, because we want you to land first. Okay. And then Chris, and then you on. But it's not, it's just a step, 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 you know, just so you know. Yeah, I got it. And um, we're only going up until you start to walk to the girls. Okay. As soon as you start to walk and get kind of get out of frame, we're cut. Really, baby. <laughs> Check the gate. Good. Turn the air conditioner. Look at his face. He's sweating. He's in a t-shirt. Do the math. Could you go back the other way now? Uh, like more of a rotation. No, put the right over something. Counter. Uh, I'll clockwise it. Yeah. Can you go counter? I can counter it. Thanks. Do you prefer that? Yeah, it's better than the. The other way, just somewhere about it. Yeah. Yeah. Catches up with you. Yeah. Something about it. Just... I understand that. Yeah, I know. Are you left-handed? Yeah. Well, except when I use my right. Right. Um, um, so this is going to be very, very tricky for... because originally it was a much tighter fitting clothing. Now it's very loose, and so trying to match motion, especially with wrinkles and things, is going to be a, uh, an exciting prospect. First day, never. Nobody sleeps the night before the first day of the shoot, so I'm absolutely shattered. And uh, looking forward to my first large vodka martini. So cheers. One out of one seems to be uh, kind of on. I feel good, but you know it's like one of 80, 85 or whatever it is. So we got a ways to go. See how I feel in about you know 60 days. It's uh, day eight of unknown shooting days. Uh, it, movie comes out in June, as long as we're done shooting by then, it's all good. Uh, give a couple days to do the VFX and we're fine. But uh, we're shooting British Pub today. A very authentic British Pub. Very quiet, please. Working quietly and efficiently. What I meant to say was that it's nice to have someone. Oh yeah, well, you got us, pal. Very nice. Thank God. Yes, Very nice. Lily is always working hard. Hard at work, figuring out schedules. And it, it amazes me how much he works. Um, you know, even when we're not shooting, he's just constantly working at schedules and trying to figure out what the next shot is and how he can help me best. You never see him sit down. It's kind of like a, it's kind of weird. It kind of makes me feel bad because I'm sitting down and he doesn't. But um, he's just the best, always, always a hard worker and just constantly working. I mean, I'm, I'm sure right now he's, I can't, I don't even know where he is. He's probably out in the set fixing something he's not supposed to, you know? But um, that's just the kind of guy he is. He's, he's the best I know. Hey, Lee. Hi, Tim. <laughs> so we run on a thin wire. 
down the inside, the dart all the way down the middle. We fire it down the wire. Right here. Yeah, he's here. He's here. So we're, we're he goes like that and we fire. Yeah. Yeah. But then you can get the flaming dart down the wire and the board. Yeah, I think that looks just perfect. Hi, guys. And action. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> what we've done is we've created a lab that parallels Reed Richards' lab. And so we show that Dr. Doom is just as much of a scientist or brilliant mind as Reed Richards. It took us about six weeks to build everything, but it, we only had three days to put it in. And so we had to prefabricate everything in this whole facility. Uh, it was available on a Sunday. We're shooting it on a Wednesday, and we're going to strike it by Friday. One, two, three, we're in, we're out, and we get the key components of Doom's enterprise. His character in the first one, in the first movie, was more of a business tycoon kind of thing where, you know, he was kind of more concerned about his public appearance. And in this one, he doesn't care. He's basically out to get power. He is a super villain. He's out to kill the Fantastic Four. He's out to take over the world. And he doesn't apologize for anything. His appearance, nothing. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What do you think? Pretty cool. This cat right there, he's a bit dodgy, but he's smoking. Looks like, looks like, Whoa. Looks like, a, uh, like encyclopedia. Like encyclopedia, yeah, there you go. Yo. Yeah. Oh, How you doing? What's up, Tim? Tim, you know Tim, Julian? Who gets no, Tim? I'm Tim. Julian, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Who gets in the back seat? That's Ben. That's Ben. <laughs> Here, let me light up the IP for you on the front. This is Tim. Let's see now those are, that's without the monitors on. I don't have any feed for the monitors, but those are all the monitors. That's freaking right? cool. Yeah. How do you get up on this thing? Huh? How do you get in? Well, you're gonna get a, you, you just have a step here. You step on the body, put your hand here. And you can put your, your feet up. on the body? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just the, put a piece a of foam over. Give me a, yeah. You wanna get on? Yeah, I wanna get on. Let's you wanna get, get in? Sticky. Yeah, get in. Oh, oh, sticky. Oh, sticky. Oh, you get in the front. Get hey, Charlie, you look get him that apple box and the piece of foam. Come here, Travis. It's been sized, right? Oh, yeah. Give me the... You guys got the time? Just don't push on the glass. And then what you do is just step right into the seat. Hey, Tim, I gotta go, bro. Okay, man. See you later. Hi, Jules. I'll see you on uh, Saturday. In a week. Okay. Okay, buddy. Be good. It's really nice to meet you. We'll see you around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So if you need me, just call me. Yeah. Let's go. I've turned on all the buttons. I've turned on enough lights, so it should go now. <laughs> it should go now. <laughs> should it? <laughs> no? <laughs> Freaking awesome, man. I like lights. Just make everything light up. Yeah, I mean, when these monitors are going, yes. Make it all it's awesome. Up. I mean, all this crap and this stuff. Mm -hmm. One of the more fun shots to do, um, this is a power transfer. So what we have to do is put Sue on fire for the first time. We put tracking markers all, all across her, similar to how you would do it in the motion capture. Um, session and we'll be doing rotamation and actually creating a 3D body that follows exactly her rotations, her motions, her hand gestures, all the rest of it. Most of what we'll take from the plate aside from that is we'll take her face of course, take her hands uh, and we'll use that, we'll mix that in when we do the flame um, effect. We'll basically take Jessica, all her motion will be flaming, we'll have wind interacting and then we'll put the glass back in on top uh, and it'll look like she's hanging there uh, in front of the New York skyline, which will pop right behind. So I burn the glass right. like this, and then they move me down a little bit, and I'll move my arm like this. Wire work is fun because it it, uh, it elevates the movie to a fantasy world, and uh, and that's you know the fun of making movies is sometimes we get to do big fantasy comic book movies, and and doing wire work allows you to do that. It's not very comfortable though.
mom, Dad! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Tim asked me to find a place where we could actually have Doom and the Surfer first meet. It had to be something that was kind of unworldly and definitely not feel like we were in some of the other locations. So we needed a really distant location that looked, you know, awesome. This iceberg we're sitting on is actually moving. It's moved 90 degrees in two days, so uh, we're on a giant uh, life raft. You can feel the wind coming up, the catabolic wind that actually comes down from glaciers. When the warm air is on top, the cold air starts rushing down here, so by the end of the afternoon, it's howling here. So everybody's, we've got to watch that the grifflons and all this stuff doesn't fly around. Can you understand what I'm saying? Cut. Got it? Okay. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. You good, Josh? Uh, you're going in the uh, 120. Is the wedding, the, the all famous wedding of Sue Storm and Sir Reed Richards. So, this is our Baxter Building set. Basically, we turned the parking lot into a Baxter Building balcony. Today, we have all of our Fan Four, of course, and we also have Stan Lee in the house, the creator of the Fan Four. So, we're doing that whole thing and doing a little scene with him in a second. I have a whole line to say, and then I have two words to say after the line. I'm, I, I don't want you to worry about the competition, but I'm getting Don't there. steal my stuff, Stan. <laughs> don't steal it. Hey, you it's were, my you were seeing good at that. Oh, I mean, stop. the personality yes. that you have to be exuberance. And it really, the movie came to life every time you, you were on the screen. Sweet. Yeah, no, no, I want to do that. No, no, I want to do that. You were great. Oh, great. You just made my day. After this, you probably go legit someday and do some real good stuff. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, could I just have your attention for a moment? I just want to introduce you all to the legendary Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man, X-Men, and of you. course the Fantastic Four and many others. Stan is here to grace us for with his presence today. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan Lee. Thank you for coming to my wedding. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, hey, hey. Good to see you. Keeps us employed for many years, Stan, so... <laughs> and... Action! Um, imitation, sir. Oh, I should be on that list. Name? Stanley. Right, oh no, go. no, really, I am, I am Stanley. No, I, but, that, but you don't understand. God, I can't thank you. Oh, are you kidding? You're making me a star. <laughs> and you, Lee, you're, you're great. Now, how you the hell soon. do I get out of here? <laughs> Coming down. Watch out, guys. It's Thing Lander. She looks so beautiful. I mean, when you can see her. <laughs> Such a lovely wedding. Thank you. I gotta go clean up. Wait. <laughs> 